Hello, first graders. Today for social studies, you will need your week 19 studies weekly magazine. Today we're going to be talking about movement. And it says right on the front here, why people move. There's lots of different reasons, and we're going to talk about some of those reasons today. So go ahead and pause me to find your magazine if you need to, so that you can follow along with me. If you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and do that. It says, why people move? Why do people move, do you think? Lots of reasons, right? Maybe you've moved before and you know why. Or maybe you don't know why and you can ask a grown-up. There might be a reason you moved. It says people move for different reasons. People can move for better jobs and people move to be close to their families. Those are two important reasons that somebody might move. Let's see why else. There's lots of different things we're going to talk about today. So, continuing on with movement. We're, we're talking about why people move. Okay, why do they go to different places and live new places? First is geography and economy. Okay, geography we've talked about. Those are like those landforms, mountainous places, or places with hills, or maybe really flat places. Okay, and economy. Economy is the way that money is used or, or when people work to make money is also economy. Landforms and climate can affect where people choose to live. Okay, some people might not want to live in the mountains. Some people want exactly to live in the mountains. Some people don't want it to be very cold ever, and ever where they live. Some people want different seasons and different weather. And then the economy. They can also affect how and where people work. So where we work or our job might also affect where we live. People might also move for exploration. Exploration is when people go to a new place. People explore to find new things that will help them. So people might go explore just for fun in a new place, but also you might explore to find things that will help them, new things that maybe you didn't know about. Then we have a really fancy word coming up here on the next page. A word that starts with an M is called migration. And migration is a fancy word for people moving, basically. Migration is when people move to a new place. Most people move to places they already know about. Okay, so maybe somebody has a place in mind that they'd like to move. They might migrate there. Oftentimes, migration is also used as a way to describe <clears throat> when groups of people go from one place to a new place far away. Okay, migration. And then, let's say you do migrate. You go to somewhere new. Then we might find somewhere to settle. Call this a settlement. Settlement is when people build a community. People settle in places that make their lives easier. Hmm. So, we're gonna, if we migrate somewhere or we move somewhere new, and there's no houses or nowhere for us to live, we might need to build a community. This doesn't happen as often anymore as it used to. A lot of communities are already established around our country and in our world, but settlements do still happen. Go ahead and turn to the back. Not only can people move, but things and thoughts can move too. Movement of ideas and objects. Okay, ideas are like our thoughts. Objects are in, is anything that we can hold. Ideas and objects move. Ideas move when they are shared. There are lots of ways we share ideas. This boy is showing one. What is he doing? La 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 la. He's talking on the phone. Okay? We also might use text messages or emails to share our ideas. Objects can be moved by people, planes, and trains. Okay, if you've ever ordered anything from Amazon, that's an object, and it might move by people, plane, or train, or all three by the time it gets to you. 
also by cars and trucks, right? Who are driven by people. Migration patterns, that's a really fancy term too. People choose to move where they can have a good life, right? I don't think we'd want to choose to move to a place where we know it's not going to be a good place to live, right? Unless we absolutely had to for some reason. But most people are going to choose a place where they can have a good life. People live in places where their needs are met. Okay? We're going to go somewhere where we know we're going to have food. Hopefully we're going to have a roof above our head. People aren't typically going to move somewhere where they know it's not going to be a good place to live. Okay? All right. So, think about this picture here on the front cover again. Have you ever moved? Hmm. Think about why you might have moved. There's a lot of different reasons, even reasons that probably weren't mentioned in our magazine today. Part of your activity today is going to be to share with us about your experience of movement. Have you ever moved yourself or maybe you've moved an object? Have you ever sent something in the mail? Think about that. You may have to ask a grown-up if you don't know why you might have moved. Go ahead and head over to Seesaw. Thanks for reading with me and go ahead and finish your activity.